Alright everyone, welcome back. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I've got some breaking news to share with you all. So the Alliance Stake Pools is born. Very interesting to see this development. A group of some lower stake Cardano stake pools have come together to pool their resources and hoping to encourage decentralization for Cardano. So very interesting to see that. Also, some updates with KaizenCrypto.com. I've been getting quite a few questions about how to get started with staking, which type of wallet to use, how to claim your rewards. So I went through the process of updating the website with some relevant information to be a hub for you if you decided that you did want to get started with staking. So be sure to check that out. Also, Emergo, what are the world's top universities doing about blockchain? So Emergo actually has its own blockchain course. Now we're seeing at the beginning of the year, LinkedIn coming out with an article saying blockchain is going to be one of the most number one in demand hard skills. Very interesting to see that development. Also, unlocking the potential of the UTXO model. Robert Kornacki is the research fellow over at Emergo, who's also working on the UTXO-based project called Ergo. So I wanted to share with you all some information about smart contracts, UTXOs, and data inputs. And lastly, if you all stay till the very end, a call to action. So on Wednesday, IOHK is launching their first ever public catalyst fund for Cardano. Definitely be sure to mark your calendars. This is a crowdcast. I know it's gonna be very exciting to see what they can come up with here. So all of that coming up right after our sponsor. Thank you so much to Sippo Pool for sponsoring today's video. Ticker is SIPO. So to get things started, the struggle of the low stake Cardano stake pools has come to an end. Based upon the advice of Charles Haskinson, the consolidated Cardano stake pool, the Alliance stake pools, ticker is ALLI, is brought to life. The Alliance is owned by currently low stake Cardano stake pool operators. At the moment, there are 11 and they welcome low stake pool operators as co-owners, sponsors and delegators. The Alliance strongly supports the growth of the low stake Cardano stake pools and with that decentralization. By mobilizing this effort to further decentralization, the Alliance increases the health and value of the Cardano ecosystem. And with that, for you as an investor or a delegator, the increase of the value of ADA. So interesting to see this initiative. Let's go ahead and take a look at their website. So what they have here are just some of the, I guess you could say like prerequisites in order to be uh, considered to be a co-owner. So in order to apply for being a co-owner in the Alliance stake pool, you must be a pool operator that has your own Cardano stake pool up and running. The pool operator has a minimum of 10,000 ADA pledged in its own stake pool, and the pool operator does not have more than 3 million stake in its own pool. Now, the way they have it set up, it's going to be a multi-owner pool, so you would need to pledge 10,000 ADA in the pool of the Alliance stake pools. I've got pool tool pulled up here, and we're actually going to take a look at that. It's pretty interesting to see how they have it set up. It is a true multi-owner stake pool. These are some of the members currently of the Alliance pool. We can see some of these stake pools here. Also the current sponsors of the Alliance pool. So we've got Be Kind and Staking for Ada. So very interesting to see that. I've got them pulled up on pool tool here. This is the Alliance stake pools. And we've got all these addresses here. These are all the owner addresses for the Alliance stake pool. So we can see that all of these stake pool operators have pledged 10,000 Ada into this new stake pool, the Alliance stake pools. So very interesting to see, is this something that is going to help further decentralization of Cardano? I guess time will tell, but it's very nice to see this initiative taking place with the smaller stake pool operators. Moving on, I wanted to share some information about the update for KaizenCrypto.com. What I have for you here, this is essentially an information hub if you're interested in staking ADA. I went through the process of just uploading some of the previous videos that I've put out 
talking about some of the relevant questions that I've been receiving from members in the community. As far as getting paid your rewards, how to choose a stake pool, uh, using a Ledger hardware wallet to stake with your ROI, so things like that, all that is gonna be found here at the Get Started page. Also, if you're interested in keeping up to date with the price, I've got the API built in from TradingView, so this is really cool. You've got a TradingView price chart here for ADA, and this is basically gonna give you a one-stop shop so that you can actually go ahead and track the price of ADA, and you've actually got some resources here for staking. Um, you are able to use all the indicators that you would normally with TradingView. It's just built into this API. So really cool, just wanna share that with you all. Next up, we're taking a look at Emergo and what the world's top universities are doing about blockchain. At the beginning of the year, LinkedIn released an article naming blockchain as one of the most in-demand hard skills. Right now, 56% of the world's top 50 universities offer at least a course on crypto or blockchain, up from 42% in 2018. So in maybe two years, almost 20% increase. Some of these top universities include Cornell University. There's the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley. There's Stanford University. So a lot of these top prestigious universities are now taking a keen interest into blockchain technology. A trend that we're definitely seeing now, especially with what's happening in the world, online learning is an important avenue for gaining new information. So with that, Emergo is actually helping to meet the demand for professionals who want to learn more about blockchain technology with a course. So this is actually really cool. You can sign up for it by clicking on the link in this article. I will be sure to link that in the description if you're interested. I did check this out and it's an online blockchain course, Foundations of Blockchain Program. So with this course, you would essentially be able to spend maybe a couple hours a day and go through the process of being able to learn more about blockchain and crypto. So just wanted to share that with you all as far as education goes, you know, that's going to be very important with all the innovation happening within this space. Taking a look at unlocking the potential of the UTXO model. So Robert Kornacki was recently on the Cardano Effect podcast. And that was probably one of the most educational hours or hour and a half that I've spent uh, in a long time listening to a podcast. So he is an incredibly knowledgeable person as it comes to this topic. And he did go into a great deal into Oracle pools, into the extended UTXO model. And he actually came out with this article today talking more about that as well. I'm actually going to be doing a deep dive that's gonna be a separate video. For those of you guys who don't wanna hear me read for about 20 minutes, I completely understand, but uh, it's gonna be very informative. So if you're interested in learning more about that, definitely be sure to subscribe, that way you know exactly when I post that video. But essentially with this article, he just talks about how do UTXO contracts work, kind of breaking it down into a high level overview and talking about cross contract interoperability, so data inputs, and he did also mention Oracle pools as well. Really cool to see all this. As far as the conclusion, he said that there is a huge potential unlocked thanks to the great innovation of data inputs on extended UTXO-based blockchains. The points touched on above are meant to give a taste of what's possible without diving in too deep into technical details. So this is a great write-up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that deep dive. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to stay tuned, uh, but I would recommend you check it out if you're interested. And lastly, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like for me if you did enjoy today's video. A call to action, IOHK on Wednesday will be launching the first ever public catalyst fund for Cardano. So we're seeing now with the rollout of Gogan and Voltaire coming shortly after, it's gonna be a great time to be able to get the community involved to start building real use and utility for Cardano. So this is very interesting to see. I'm gonna be there. I hope to see you guys there as well. Definitely be sure to mark your calendars. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it and hope that you found some value from this video today. Again, be sure to drop a like for me before you go and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.